Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Camarda, if you're new, and today we're gonna be going over Genmoji. This is Apple's newest feature in iOS 18, and basically, you can make custom emojis using Apple Intelligence. So we're just gonna try creating different designs and seeing how intricate we can get. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and change the emoji game. The days are over of searching for the perfect emoji because now you can create it with Apple Intelligence. Before we get into it, I do wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Anchor. They are my favorite wireless charging brand and MagSafe is one of my favorite features of the iPhone. I love using MagSafe any chance that I get. Today I have the Anchor MagGo wireless charging stations and these are everything. Look how aesthetic they are. They totally nailed the design here. Anchor refers to these as the MagGo UFO because the shape of them is like a little UFO as you could see here. This is a wireless three-in-one charger and it is literally the size of my hand. It is so tiny. So these are really good for traveling and charging on the go, but they're also just super compact and keep your space really organized and clean, which I love. These are a three-in-one charger, so they just come unfolded like this. They charge your iPhone and your Apple Watch and your AirPods all at the same time, and they are so compact. They are about the size of the AirPods Pro 2, so they are super portable. The Mago is fully compatible with Apple MagSafe. It's a 15 watt charging device, so it's twice as fast as a normal 7.5 watt wireless charger. And it does have the made for Apple Watch certification from Apple. And it charges my Apple Watch Series 10 to 100% in one hour and 17 minutes compared to other chargers that take over three hours. You could easily use this in your car and just connect it with the USB-C cable and you can charge anywhere. It also works really well on your desk. So if you wanna keep your space really clean and have all your devices at hand. That's a really good way to use it too. And what's cool is you can also do a standby mode with this. So if you just flip it over and then fold it with the longer strap on the bottom, it can become a stand and you can use your iPhone in standby mode. Another good way to use it is next to your bed as kind of like a clock, as you could see here. So these wireless chargers are awesome. I just love how not only do they look good and they come in a bunch of fun different colors, they are super useful. And I just love not having to carry around a million different chargers and wires. You literally just have this little UFO looking thing. It's such a unique design and I really think Anchor did something really cool with these. So if you wanna shop the Anchor Maggo UFO, just click the link in the description. And thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the Genmoji. So as you could see, I've already been texting myself. I was playing around a little with it last night, but we're gonna get super in depth now today and see just what we can create. To use Genmoji, you're just gonna go go to your emojis like normal. And on the right, you'll see a little smiley face that has a gradient color to it. If you just click that, you will see the Genmoji beta. I did have to request access to get this and they do put you on a wait list. It took me about a week to get it. It says, start with a few words or a phrase that best describes your idea. To keep it simple, I will show you guys how I made that pink heart that you saw. So if you just type in pastel pink heart and hit done, it will give you an emoji that correlates to that description. And as you could see, it gave us a pink heart. I don't know if I would describe that as pastel, but if you're not satisfied, you can just keep swiping and seeing what else it came up with. So if I go to the right, it made this cute little glittery one with like these little metallic sparkles around it. Then the third option is this little like frilly looking heart. And then there's this one that has kind of a wavy design. Basically, you just keep going until it runs out of ideas. As you could see, it's starting to kind of repeat itself. So once you get a result that you like, you can just hit add at the top right and it will add it to your emoji keyboard. So now if I go down to my emojis, you can see the sparkly heart there and it just goes in like a regular emoji. Anyone with iOS 18 is gonna be able to see this emoji, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna send it to myself. That is our first demonstration of how Genmoji works. And now let's get into creating some cute designs. Something that I think is lacking in the emoji department is an iced coffee. So I'm gonna type in iced coffee and see what it gives us. And there we go, we have an iced coffee and it's really that simple. And guys, if you want a different one, just keep swiping until you see one that you like. This one has like a cute mason jar. As you could see also, you could rate the results that you get. I can put a downvote on it and you can actually give feedback on why it wasn't fitting, which is pretty cool. Doesn't make sense. And then I'll hit done and send to Apple. So now the people at Apple, like Tim Cook 
will read this and be like, okay, we shouldn't create that. <laughs> uh, I'm so funny. <laughs> so this is what we're doing today. We're creating emojis. And guys, you can get so creative with this. I already know all of you in the Discord are gonna have such good ideas. So now let's get a little more advanced and see what they could do. I'm gonna ask them to create a black dachshund emoji because that's what my dog looks like. So let's try it out. Guys, <laughs> we got a Dolce emoji and it's so cute. So now I can send Dolce emojis. My life Life is just so good right now. <laughs> I just love that the Gen Mojis still look like emojis that would have come from Apple. Like they're not a different style. I know that seems like a given, but I do really appreciate that because it looks like it was always part of the phone. And when you create a Gen Moji, it also makes it into a sticker. So I can drag this pink heart and put it on the screen like any other sticker. And it sends like a message. Don't question my stickers. I don't understand why I have a Kris Jenner, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> So now let's try something a little more vague. I'm gonna ask it to do a cozy aesthetic and see what it comes up with. I'm curious to see this one. I'm not sure what this face is, but apparently it's cozy. It made a fireplace, a cute little sitting chair, a blanket and socks, a fireplace with like a scarf on it. Apparently cozy aesthetic is a fireplace. That one seemed to confuse it a little bit. So I'm just gonna type in fall and see what happens. It's generated a little fall leaf and and it's also made these trees with fall leaves. It's a little odd looking. A tree with leaves falling. Just a bunch of leaves. Let's try autumn instead. It kind of looks like it's giving the same thing. <laughs> the emoji with the smiley face is kind of cute. And then there's like a leaf that's crying. Some of the results are a little bit strange, but it is fun to play around with. I'm gonna search winter penguin. <laughs> <laughs> and see what it comes up with. It made a penguin, cute. A penguin on ice. What about if I do like penguin with sweater on or something like that? And it did it. That is so funny. He looks like he's going to like an HR meeting. <laughs> but there's other ones too. Like this one is like a striped sweater. Oh my gosh, that one is chunky. Let's do some Christmas ones because we're obviously in a Christmas mood. Let's do gingerbread house. And for fun, I'm gonna say pink. Oh, that's so cute. So it did make a pink gingerbread house. Here's another option with like some pink icing on it. So if you just type in a specific description, it will pretty much give you exactly what you want. That one is adorable with the swirls on it. I'm adding that one. Pink Christmas tree. Wow, that is like neon pink, but it did it. What if I do pastel pink or light pink? Let's do light pink. We've got light pink Christmas trees here. I love the one with the, what is this one with the fish on it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna save the one with the lights on it. I think that's really cute. Now I'm gonna ask it to do something that could pull from real life. Let's see if it does like anything that resembles a brand. Luxury perfume. Okay, it kind of looks like olive oil, but I guess it's getting the job done. It's not really doing it for me though. Yeah, it's not gonna do brands or anything like that. Will it do something that relates to a game? Game. Like if I say The Sims, continue by choosing an inspiration for the person in your Gen Moji. So I can either pick me or James. I'm gonna pick me. <laughs> Let's see what it does. I'm kind of curious now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why does that really look like me? What the heck? Wait, I'm actually freaked out. Why does this emoji look so much like me? Oh my God. Wait, I could literally use this. Imagine using an emoji that looks like you instead of just the placeholder person. Okay, now I wanna try like me looking mad. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's pulling me again. <laughs> I don't think that worked. She's just kind of blankly staring. That is crazy though, because that emoji looks so much like me. It's actually like scaring me. Now let's try something unheard of. I'm gonna ask it to do pink iPhone 17 Pro Max. <laughs> no results. Okay, I'll go easier on it. Pink iPhone, no results. I guess it can't make iPhones, which is kind of weird. Let's see if it can do a spin on the emojis that we already have. So I'm gonna do French manicure. She's missing a finger. <laughs> uh, that's not French. This one, she's giving... 
<laughs> okay, this is the closest option, but it doesn't look good. Let's put it out of its misery. Neutral tone makeup palette. Pretty good, honestly. That's a really good option. Second one is not neutral. Third option is good. It's a mix, but overall, like, not terrible. Let's do bouquet of white roses. This is inspired by my wedding. Let's see how that looks. Those are not white. <laughs> None of these are white. Why is it not doing white? I mean, the results are beautiful, but they're not matching the description. Ugg boots. It did similar, honestly, but they're not exactly what I pictured, but we did get boots. Oval diamond ring with gold band. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, cute. This would have been cute to use on our engagement picture, even though it's not exact. It seems like all the options are the same, but it's cool that it did that. Oh, that one's close, that one's close. Hot cocoa with marshmallows in a beige cup. Oh my God, it worked. <laughs> so the more descriptive you are, the better. That is so cute. Now I'm just gonna do this one for fun. Being invited to the apple event. <laughs> We've got a glittery apple. I guess that would mean being invited to the apple event. <laughs> These results are ridiculous. Why is Apple trolling me? <laughs> okay, let's be serious. Let's do giraffe with rainbow spots. It kind of got it. I wanted to see more like the second result. I wanted the spots to be more, you guys saw it in your head, right? <laughs> this one's kind of cute with the little bubble. <laughs> oh, this is what I was picturing, like this one right here. So I'm a big fan of plants, Monstera plant, and it got it, beautiful. These would be really cute to use, honestly. Like these little Monstera leaves are gorgeous. Now let's just do a speed round of cute emojis. Almond croissant. Looks pretty good. This third one is perfect though. Sugar cookie. The first one looks like a disease. The second one is interesting. These are just not what I had in mind. With sprinkles and icing. Okay, that's a little better, but I think the second one is pretty good. Pumpkin cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly it. I don't think it understands what that is yet. These are not doing it. <laughs> Espresso machine. Perfect. I love that one. Actually, the second one is even better. Wait, why did it just add me? <laughs> it made me a barista. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't ask for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one, I literally look like an employee. <laughs> Lip gloss. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Honestly, the one with putting the lip stuff on. Dreamy cloud. I don't know why it keeps adding me into it. Like how, get me out of here. Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> Gold sparkles. So it's kind of like a metallic version of the one that we already have. Shopping spree. Guys, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> I don't know what goal is. <laughs> <laughs> those are not, those are not it. Cute polar bear wearing a scarf and winter hat. Cute, it's so cute. He looks a little too human for me though. <laughs> pink snowman, that one is too pink. Snowman with light pink scarf and eyelashes. <laughs> it's okay, it's cute. Sparkly snow, that is so cute. It's like metallic. Ooh, that one's cool. I don't know, is it cool or is it weird? <laughs> Gold Christmas presents. <laughs> Those are so cute. The gold presents look pretty good, not gonna lie. I love this one with the snowflakes around it. That's so cute. In love face with light pink hearts. This one is taking a while. <laughs> Did I break it? Why is it not loading? This one seems to have broken it because nothing is loading. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we made a ton of Genmojis and I'm sure you could get so creative with this. I literally just asked it to do stuff like off the top of my head, but I'm sure you could make such cute emojis with this tool. So if you guys have played around with Genmoji, let us know in the comments what were the cutest descriptions that gave you the best looking emojis so that we could copy it. <laughs> and I hope you guys liked this video. It was so much fun to play around and create different emojis. That was just so much fun. As always, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you again to Anchor for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.